Hello everyone, welcome to our second webinar on Sina Weibo for your business, Getting Started. My name is Lise and I'm the owner of LAT Multilingual. Uh, our panelists today are Xi Ching and Leslie Ning. Xi Ching is based in Hong Kong. She is our Chinese social media and digital marketing specialist. And Leslie is here in Vancouver. She's our in-house uh, project manager for Chinese markets. So without uh, further ado, I will actually transfer the uh, presentation over to uh, Xi Ching. Hi, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Today we're going to talk about uh, more about Sina Weibo, China's most popular social media platform. So um, today the presentation will cover some of the Sina Weibo statistics, the new statistics just released by Sina uh, about their 2012 performance and how the Sina Weibo work, and some give some examples of how to engage with target audience on Sina Weibo, and also how to track a Weibo account performance. Um, and we will touch a little bit about our services, how to set up Sina Weibo accounts, and what kind of marketing approach that we provide for brands to reach to their target audience. Um, like last or first webinar, we talked a little bit about Sina Weibo's um, users demographic and the Sina Weibo statistics. And today, let's just uh, go back to that first webinar and talk more about. Um, the people who are using Sina Weibo and who are they, where they're located. So if you look at the Weibo populations in China, it's more than the population of the United States. Here the Weibo, there's an ad, that means there are different kinds of companies providing Weibo services. One is Sina and the other one is Tencent. So uh, Sina Weibo is by far the most popular uh, platform. Um, Tencent has, it's, it's trying to catch up, but still not there yet. So today we're mainly going to talk about the Sina Weibo. Um, if you look at the statistics, this was released about a week ago by Sina. Um, that captures the growth rate of Sina Weibo in 2012. There are 500 million users using Sina Weibo and 46.2 million daily active users. Here active users means these people at least log in um, to Sina Weibo once per day and commenting, posting, interacting with friends or brands on the platform. Let's look at the average post on Sina Weibo in 2012. You can see that on average there's about 120,000 posts per day. And during some special events, occasions, the number of posts grows really high. Look at the little flag there. It's the during, during the London Olympics in 2012. Every day there were about 130,000 posts talking about London Olympics. Uh, Sina Weibo is popular in China and Chinese and among Chinese overseas. So a lot of companies who are targeting Chinese audience, no matter where they are, are trying to get on Sina Weibo to have a conversation with this Chinese audience. So Sina Weibo has about um, a hundred thousand enter uh, overseas enterprise accounts. And majority of them are located in US, Japan, and Australia. Of all these overseas enterprise accounts, restaurants, F&B, hospitality accounts for 80% of them. So to recap, 500 million accounts are on Sina Weibo, over 130,000 corporate accounts, millions of international and domestic celebrities, businessmen, and politicians are on Weibo, including Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, Bill Gates, Gregor Robinson, Tom's, Kevin Root, uh, Kevin Root, Christine Lagarde. And Sina Weibo has been a darling of both domestic and international brands. 
The platform offers brands a quality, diversified target audience and sophisticated engagement tools. 56% of Weibo's 400 million users follow at least one brand. 120 million new posts on average a day. So the users of Signal Weibo are young and well educated. Although most registered users are male, the active users are female. 65% of active users are female. 70% content concerning brands are from women. Uh, the purpose of using Signal Weibo for Chinese, the top one is to get news. So as you may know that the Chinese government censor news organizations very tightly and closely. So people get on Signal Weibo to get to know what's really going on and what's really happened in China and outside of China. And the second reason they get on Signal Weibo is basically for fun and kill time. Um, so entertainment and fan content are reposted most often compared to Twitter. So people are pretty relaxed when they're getting on Signal Weibo. They don't want to read long-form series posts, but they wanted to get cute cat pictures, cute baby pictures, jokes, and, and celebrity news. So those kind of content are really popular on Signal Weibo. And the magnitude of reposts are also much higher than Twitter. So you can easily see some really interesting posts that get millions or even tens of millions of posts uh, repost to their own profile or timeline. So we talked about the numbers and the statistics about Signal Weibo um, and the user's profile. How does Signal Weibo actually work? So here is a very interesting picture. That's basically conclude the feature of Signal Weibo. Signal Weibo is definitely changed the Chinese, pe Chinese people's way of life. Before Signal Weibo, there's no platform or no way that they can express them freely and they can report what's really going on in their small villages. Um, so after Signal Weibo was set up, more and more people uh, document their lives, uh, report things around them on there. So it's a very open platform. But you know, as Chinese government was afraid of this freedom that was given by Sina Weibo to the mass Chinese people, so they started to monitor the platform really closely. So within Sina Weibo, there are 200 people. Their role is just monitoring the internet security guard. Every day, there will be a list of keywords sent in from certain government um, bureaus to Sina Weibo. So these 200 people will just monitor the backend system of Sina Weibo. Um, once the keywords shows up, they will delete the post right away. So Sina Weibo is a controlled platform, but it compared to other news media organizations, it's much more freedom because although there are 200 people monitoring and deleting posts, there are 500 million people are using it. There is no way that they can delete everything that is sensitive or politically not right regarding, um, according to the Chinese government. Um, so if you look at Sina Weibo functionally and technically how it works, it's basically a combination of Facebook and Twitter. So at the very beginning, Sina Weibo was set up by some of the tech guys who studied in the U.S. and know how social network works and see the potential growth of social network. So they brought back, they went back to China and they set up the platform. Um, they don't want it to totally copy how Twitter works, so they combine the good functions of Facebook and Twitter and make them to work to of, of some of the functions work together on one platform. So if you look at this chart, uh, you will see some of the similar functions that Signal Weibo, Twitter, and Facebook share, and some of the special functions only Signal Weibo has. For example, at the bottom in the, in, in the chart under Signal Weibo, you will see the 
um, in blue, the commenter can also choose whether to repost the comment, quoting the whole original post to commenter's own page. So you can basically share and comment on commenter's comments. So that's a special kind of function um, only Cinewebo has. So this is um, a timeline of a account. This is my personal account. So you can see from here that on your timeline, it works similar um, to Facebook. You can have status updates and you can see um, your people who you're, you follow, their updates. And uh, the people that share the similar interests that were in the similar industries, you know, we will suggest you to follow on the right hand side. And also there's instant message. You can talk to your friends or people who follow who are online via this instant message column. So here is the profile page. It's the same as your Facebook profile page. Uh, so you have number of followers, posts, and a concept person you follow. That's look like Twitter. And um, you have your registered personal information, your verification. This is a very interesting system only Sina has. So Sina has three different kinds of verification system for um, individual personal accounts. We will go into that later. And uh, you can also see accounts that I followed recently. Um, so this is your profile page. As I mentioned before, that there are two different kinds of accounts on Cineweibo. It's personal accounts and enterprise edition. So under personal accounts, they're verified accounts, VIP membership accounts, Darren experts account. So you register based on your interest, your influ influence offline, or whether you wanted to pay money. So for the VIP membership account, you need to pay a certain amount of money to get the special features from Sina. And to set up this account is actually related to Sina's co collaboration with the Chinese government. Because if you wanted to have an account, you have to register your real name, your company, your address, so easy to control and easy to manage. So um, every account on Sina is real name registered. Um, so it's, it's relatively easier for brands to know who are they and where they're located and what their, um, their work is. So for enterprise edition, Sina Weibo Enterprise Edition is a Weibo upgrade version for enterprise accounts. So with a multi-function page and a management dashboard, it provides more functions and features including personalized page display, data analysis, and more social CRM elements. Here is the enterprise edition. This is a Mini Cooper. You can see that the page can be customized based on the brand's message. And the platform enables brand to create an official presence through a verification system. So for uh, Enterprise Edition, you can see there is a blue V. Once you get the blue V, you will be given a lot of different functions or um, features that the personal account doesn't have. Um, so profiles can be customized by adjusting the background and the possibility to share graphic elements such as pictures and videos. And also, if you have a ver uh, verified enterprise edition account, you can customize your uh, profile page based on individual campaigns. There is a campaign that L'Oreal did before Chinese New Year. As you may know that during Chinese New Year, a lot of migrant workers, they will uh, travel back home from big cities to spend time with their parents, their families. So uh, during the Chinese New Year, L'Oreal created a campaign to, um, it, it's called Bring Beauty Home. So basically, the application they built is just a simple form that you fill in where your home is and who you wanted to bring beauty to at three accounts and then send to L'Oreal. Um, L'Oreal will have a lucky draw to give gifts to the friends that you mentioned on this form. Uh, but very, the very interesting is um, they customize the whole background into red, which is a very Chinese culture, uh, culture-friendly color. Uh, and it looks very um, appealing. So 
this uh, L'Oreal build an application to make this happen. And here is the Enterprise Edition. Let's break down um, the whole page and take a look like what you can really fit in here and what are some of the features and functionalities. So here, like this is profile page, the first screen. You can see you can have a profile picture on the left-hand side and company introduction notice board. Um, in the middle, um, up-hand side, you can see the customized widgets, including flash, videos, pictures, and could be inserted at the top. Um, and behind that, below that is the content that you update on your profile page. Um, on the right-hand side, it's verified accounts and relationship between individual users and the fan page. That means uh, are some of your friends follow this brand, it will show here. And or some of your followers who follow the brand, it also will show here. And below that is other relevant accounts. For example, you can put your management's um, Weibo accounts here so people can uh, follow or talk to your management on your page. And below that is um, the brand's non-management uh, level Weibo users. Some of the brand put their ambassadors or their uh, celebrity in uh, the celebrities that endorse the brand here to really um, attract the people to go to the page and to see what's going on. Um, this is the second screen of the profile page. So if you're going down um, the profile page, you will have more, you, you will see more things. Like at the left hand side, is you can insert a video or image album um, and you can have affiliated links. For example, your official blogs, your company uh, official websites or other kinds of assets that your company have online. And you can also list the events. And uh, on the right hand side, you can have other important people's links and groups you join. So there are millions of interest groups um, on Sina Weibo. You can join the group and talk to specifically um, a specific group of target audience. For example, if you're a car company, you can join the car interest groups and talk to people who, are, who join the group because of the same interest. And you can also see your followers. So this is um, this is the the profile page of our enterprise um, accounts. And next, so let's take a look at how to engage with target audience. Once you set up a Sina Weibo enterprise account, you have to start to think about how do you use this platform, how to you use your page to reach the people and to start a conversation with these people and to attract them to achieve your marketing goals or your sales goals or how do you convert online audience to your offline audience. All this can happen through very carefully uh, crafted strategy and plan um, and execute it carefully on Sina Weibo. So uh, there are three ways of doing um, Sina Weibo management. One is your daily community management. So for daily community management, it's basically like you set up a, a platform uh, or you set up a page and that's totally owned by you. And how, what kind of content, how do you write up this content, what's the tone of voice and how do you have a conversation on the platform. So the first thing you need to have a content calendar. This content calendar go hand in hand with your uh, marketing calendar. It can be two weeks calendar, one month calendar, or even three months calendar. That in, during this, you plan your content in advance, what you want to say, and what are some of the events that you want to invite people to come. And in this content calendar, you can't be just writing hard sell information. It needs to be some content that represent who you are, what's what, what's your company's belief and what you stand for. So you basically build a very personalized image on Sina Weibo, make people want to relate to you, want make people really like you. So 
they are willing to spend time to read your content and they're willing to spend the time to really get to know you. That needs a very thorough planning of content. And some of the companies have their daily Q&A. It's one of the methods to really active, active um, make the, your followers to interact with you. For example, some companies throw a question in the morning, ask their netizens, somehow, some, sometimes related to the company, to the culture, to their products. Sometimes it's just related to the city or the, the current affairs that's going on in their, um, in their local markets. And people can send in their answers and all these answers who answer right will be given a special ex exclusive offer. For example, they can have um, a private conversation with one of their ambassadors or they can come to the office to have a tour and take pictures and share with their friends. Um, so, and, and this is kind of a small and ongoing campaigns. You can basically just throw out content, no matter how interesting your contents are. It's just uh, not very. It can be very. It can be very interesting content, but it it cannot be like people are not excited by. Um, like every day just read your content. They wanted to be involved in your company's activities. So some companies, they throw out small and ongoing campaigns to make this their fans more engaged. Um, and also the daily community management, including your statistic analysis. Like we said that uh, Enterprise Edition offers a backend dashboard like Facebook. So you basically can see the um, your the performance of your, your page, like who liked your page, what's the fan growth, and where are all these fans from, and who are they, who are their followers. So based on this daily analysis, it can help you to tweak your content calendar and also to redesign some of your small and ongoing campaigns to make it more engaging. And also some companies are doing really advanced things on Senna Weibo. They, they analyze the social data and they build a social CRM to specifically targeting certain group of people and make them their VIP or loyalty program members. Um, so there are some of the brands that are doing really well on Senna Weibo. Um, by just uh, doing their daily management, their content, um, their content updates, content planning. So, for I will just give you two examples. We will send out this um, a, a, a article that was compiled by uh, my team to all of you with this presentation, so you know that what's really are those brands are doing on Cineweibo that really registered with um, the Cineweibo audience. So for example, for Nike, Nike sponsored a lot of, during the London Olympics last year, Nike sponsored a lot of uh, Chinese athletes. Um, so they, they have a 20 people team to manage their Cineweibo account during the London Olympics. It, it's updated actually by minutes. And once there's a result, um, they will draft something specifically targeting the result of this this game. So, less than right after the Chinese gymnastic Chen Yingbing, who was denied a gold by what was regarded in China as an anti-China judge panel, Nike posted this post. It writes, "There's no such a thing." of absolutely fairness, but there's such a thing of absolute greatness. So that's something that the Chinese audience really wanted to say, but they cannot say it this well, um, and they cannot have a very uh, appealing image to really express their feelings. So once they posted this post, um, it got millions of reposts, and people really like the very quick um, action that Nike delivered. That means that Nike really cares, and also because the message really said, speak out the, the uh, feeling of the Chinese audience, 
so people feel like Nike is a brand that knows what the Chinese audience want. So that's a very good piece of content and really good Weibo management to really connect it to the target audience. The second one is it's interesting and um, that's really smart and quick of Durex. They're doing really well in um, in China, also in the way world. They basically tap into current affairs and uh, come up with a really witty message that's um, kind of funny and entertaining. Um, so people get a lot of, people like to retweet and get retweet them and mention them on their own Weibo. So this this picture is actually less than half an hour Obama beat Romney in the US election last year. Durex come up with this post. So in case you you're not you can't read the Chinese. So the post have these two pictures and have only several characters said the differences between Obama and Romney is so this piece of post get millions of reposts as well, and it's it's selected as one of the smartest um, con piece of content uh, of 2012 by a lot of agencies and marketing managers. Um, so the second way of managing Sina Weibo is influencer engagement. So uh, Sina Weibo has been the platform itself has been doing really well among celebrities. One of their um, main tactic when they just set up the Weibo account is to attract as more celebrities to use the platform as possible. So once they get all the celebrities on board, the celebrities' followers will uh, register Weibo account and start to follow their their stars. Um, so this is one of the tactics that Sinaweibo is using. And because of the large number of celebrities that on Sinaweibo, um, many brands tap into this opportunity by collaborating with the offline celebrities um, to the online space. And that works very well, but those celebrities are paid uh, to repost or mention your brand on their Weibo account. Normally, we don't suggest our clients to do that unless it's you have a huge budget because it can be really expensive. Um, what we suggest our client to do is to look at celebrity in a different way. So the celebrities offline um, is definitely a very, very powerful and very valuable assets for a brand. But if you don't have that, look into the celebrities or the influencers in your own industry. Those are the people who are not popular outside of the industry, but they're really influential inside the industry that you are in. And those are the people really wanted to build relationships with a good brand that they like. And they're willing to attend your exclusive events offline and broadcast it, your events or your services, your product for you online to their followers. For example, one of my clients is a watch brand. Um, so this watch brand look select the 60 of the influencers in 60 different industries. For example, the watch industry um, and the rent, uh, uh, sorry, the uh, a runner that is really popular among the Chinese runner community. So they select those people who have huge followers within this industry and they invite them for offline events. And all these people are really willing to come and they're willing to broadcast or document the whole events online to their followers. So you're using um, or you're supporting the people who are really interested in your industry and your brand to really get to know what's going on, give them exclusive offers, and they can be proud and to help you spreading the message out to their followers. So that's one tactic that a lot of brands are using us in a web board, and it's been doing really well. Um, and like I said, that. Uh, how do you engage with all these industry influencers or celebrities online? Uh, you can't just do it just online. 
you have to build a personal relationship with this industry influencers by giving them exclu ex exclusive offers or asking them to attend your events offline to gradually build the personal uh, relationship and then you can engage them more on the online space. Um, and the third tactic is through you give your followers a remarkable experience. So all these personal relationship, relationships that you build through influencer engagement, through daily management, um, it's really, really valuable and, and, and really uh, useful for your brand to have a healthy sustainable account and to have a very um, close relationship or a very engaging uh, relationship with your fans. Um, but how can you really evolve your fans and how can you really make them like you and want to participate in your events and want to buy your products or your services. So based on your goal of marketing your target audience's future, you throw out a remarkable campaign every three or half, uh, three months or six months. So here is a campaign that the CTC Canada Tourism Commission was doing. They invite Cineweibo users to submit photos and videos of them traveling in Canada. And they asked the followers, followers to vote for the best travelers um, for them. And the best travelers will be selected as the ambassador of CTC to Chinese tourists. So the ambassador will be given opportunity to travel to Canada for free and experience really uh, interesting activities that Canadians enjoy and to introduce those activities to Chinese audience. So this been really this remarkable experience has been doing really well on Sina Weibo. It gets about a million photos or videos um, after three months of campaign and it's still going on. So if you can read Chinese or you're interested in this campaign, you can go to CTC's Weibo account and take a look at how they're doing this. Um, we mentioned a little bit how to track Weibo's account performance before. So if you can um, you have an enterprise edition account. You can go to the back end and take a look at um, the statistics. Um, it's basically real time and they can record the past the seven days, past the 30 days, and past the three months um, statistics. So they um, track the number of funds, the gross rate of funds, and the fans demographic and how they interact with you. Who are the fans that interact with you most often um, and they interact with you in a very creative way. For example, they send you videos, they send you pictures, and they share your post. And also the, the fans behavior. So what kind of um, post and what kind of keywords can uh, really affect this fans to make them to want to interact with you. So you can see all this analysis at the back end to help you better manage your Weibo account. And also you can set up keywords. For example, if you're a car brand, you can set up the um, nameplate or your dealers or um, a certain sp a group of people, you can set up these keywords and the Weibo backend will monitor this keyword and keep updating you what's going on within this space and what people are talking about so you can type into the conversations. And it also offers trend analysis, page view, click through of embedded short links. So if you have a special uh, official account that you want to attract people to go to your account, you can have a URL and you can also track how many people click this URL and was linked, uh, linked from Sina Weibo to your official account. So this is a free tool that Sina provides for enterprise edition accounts. Um, so if you wanted to know more about more detailed data analysis, you can also pay some tool providers in China 
One is CIC. They're doing pretty well, and a lot of big brands are using them. Um, and the other one is, in Chinese, is PT Shi Guangji. It's basically a platform that can help you manage your account and do the report for you. Um, if you have, you're interested in these tools or the platforms, you, uh, we, you can send us an email. We can send you more details about these paid tools. Um, so for us, um, we are helping our clients to do their Chinese marketing um, services and marketing consultings. And we can also do a certain kind of market research. For example, you wanted to know Chinese female skincare trends in 2012, something like that. Um, it can be very specific. And we are also doing website translations to Chinese. Um, and Weibo account set up. Although the Enterprise Edition account is free of charge, but you need to really know people in China. As a lot of things um, in China to get you to send out a list of materials and documents to Sina Weibo and help them to verify it. Uh, it can take up to three to four weeks. Um, and we are also offering content writing adaptation of existing content for Chinese writers, followers engagement, influencer engagement, lead nurturing, and we are um, we can support you to manage your Sina Weibo by sending you reports and analysis of your page performance. So next, I will give um, I will hand it to Liz. Uh, lastly, to talk, uh, give you some real um, account examples and how much some of the American or uh, overseas accounts are doing us in the web world to engage with the Chinese audience. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Sissi. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I'll be showing you some of the live examples on Weibo corporate accounts. So if you have any questions during my presentation, um, please feel free to ask us questions in the chat box. We will be happy to answer your questions during the Q&A section, which is later. Um, if time runs out, please contact us, and we'll get back to you um, very shortly. Um, so, so far, there has been 200 US corporate accounts on Weibo. Um, the number seems not to be very big right now, but it is growing. So one of the reasons could be uh, because Weibo does not have an English interface yet. Um, there's rumors that Weibo will work on giving more language options. But so far, as I know, only simplified and traditional Chinese are provided for um, as um, the language options on, available on Weibo. Um, so I'll be showing you today. Um, so this is the um, uh, corporate uh, sample corporate accounts on Sina Weibo. Um, it's for, uh, it's for um, the San Francisco World Journal. Um, this is a U.S.-based company, so um, all the informations are um, are currently the like, local news in San Francisco. Um, I'll use the Google Translate, so everyone probably will be um, get more familiar with the content. Um, as you can see, okay, so I think it works. Um, as you can see here, this is the um, um, the title of the the Weibo account, and also a logo for the corporate. If you want to put the logo here or um, like um, um, a sample pictures to represent your corporation, you can upload here. And this one doesn't make a lot of sense right now. This is like um, if I want to add this corporate account as a friend, I can follow them here. So the, the translation doesn't really make sense here. Um, and also you can see there's a big banner where people can upload some of your latest news. Or you can also use videos to um, to give um, to have a linked account with you cool and update upload your videos here. Um, as you can see here this blue um, Benage, like what Shitin says before, uh, this is a verification from Sina. So all the corporate, if you provide with your company registration, uh, like for example, um, business license and the corporate information documents, and Sina will 
get your verified business, um, provide more credibilities for the fans. Um, here is a short description about the San Francisco World Journal. Um, this is like the official um, Weibo of blogging here. It's just mentioned. And you can see here is um, they have about um, 1988 followers. Oh, the, they're the fans. This is like the fans this corporate follows. And this is their, uh, the number of fans is 14, about 14,000. And they have been posted for 1,900 blogs. Um, I'll just scroll down a little bit. As you can see, they have their contact information on the um, left side um, where you can put the, um, you can put the phone numbers and address and con like emails, emails for people to contact you. Um, here is the main page for other blogs. Um, usually Weibo has many blogs um, that are um, uh, very um, descriptional. Um, usually it comes with one or two sentences just briefly describe what's going on and usually it comes with a picture and people can forward your messages or, or reply um, to the blogs to create more conversations. Um, some of, you can see some of the examples here. Um, there's, um, there's a variety of, um, variety of different kinds of Weibo. Um, some of the blogs are um, strictly about the company. Uh, some of them are reblogging from the current news and life information in what, like what's going on in San Francisco. It's more um, cl uh, related to the community. Uh, for example, you can see here is the Chinese New Year celebrations, and um, um, there is a celebration events, and they provide free tickets to get in. And and um, here is like people are following, uh, forwarding this message or giving comments. Um, and also, um, and also, Weibo they do provide. I'm sorry. Uh, Weibo do provide um, uh, like a short link, for, um, for, like abbreviation of the address, where you can change this long link um, as a bitly. Um, here they don't they didn't use that option, but it is available on Weibo. Um, as you can see here, fans replies. And um, also. Um, uh, well-managed blogs, people um, like um, the the corporate. They usually hire someone to respond to fans very frequently. So it's more like an instant communication with fans and the comp and the company. Um, another example I want to sh show you is the um, Hilton Hotels in San Francisco. Uh, this is, you can, as you can see, they changed the background layout and um, they upload a banner image. These are more static ones. Um, like all the, all the design can be customized. You can either post for banner images or uh, videos or you want to have a static background or the scrolling background is all available on Weibo. You can customize as much as you want. Um, here it shows the number of followers, and number, uh, number of fans, number of fans, and the number of posts. Um, Um, as you can see, this blog is very famous. It has been forwarded about almost 30,000 times for this. Um, uh, it's, it's the, uh, for the, the latest Oscar winner, winning news. Um, and also, on Weibo, a hashtag is available, so you can put the keywords in the hashtags, and people can search from the keywords and f pull out all the related information. This is how usually company they create a series of topics and they use use the hashtags to um, uh, to make sure people can find the previous talks about the same topic, just like Twitter does. Um, 
um, as you can see, this this blog is more about um, how to improve your interpersonal skills. Um, usually, some of the blogs are like what I mentioned before. Um, sometimes people don't blog um, too much about the company information, but the um, like some of the um, tips or um, famous saying from um, just to attract more fans and tell them we're not just um, promoting ourselves, but also be one of the community. So, and here are some interesting um, like tips for fans to share. And, and as you can see from here, um, Weibo has the options to add people, uh, which means um, the people who has been added will get an instant message saying that, oh, you have been added by one of the accounts, and you can log in. It's sort of like an instant message option. This is a night scene in San Francisco. People are sharing um, pictures. Yes. Um, okay. Is there any um, questions so far? Yeah, I just want you guys to know um, at the end of our presentation, uh, we will be asking you to fill out a brief survey, uh, which will appear on your screen. So we will really appreciate if you can fill it out. This being our second webinar of the series, so your opinion is very important for us and it will allow us to improve our presentation for the next one in the future. So if you have any questions, please use the chat box. To let us know. Well, thank you very much, Ching and Leslie. Uh, this ends our presentation uh, for today. Uh, we had a uh, question from uh, one somebody in the audience. It was uh, about the uh, specifications about um, websites that were mentioned in the presentation. So if you have any questions, feel free to send them to us by email. You can send them uh, simply to um, questions at latmultilingual.com. Please attend our next uh, webinar. We'll have one every month and we'll send you details by email. Thank you very much, everyone, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.